sorry, Coach. What's the what are the couple things that you're looking for from your team tomorrow that will be key in getting the win over Buffalo and moving on to the championship game? Well, I think defensively we have to address Cicerone. I mean, he was just named a Conference Player of the Year, and I think uh, m more than deserving of that award. He's a special player, you know, and uh, at the Division One level, um, he's somebody that we definitely have to know where he's at at all times. And that's the defensive side of things. The second part of probably that is is we, we have to be good on defensive set pieces. We know whether it's a, a deep throw in or a free kick or a corner kick, um, it's going to be into the box, and, and Buffalo's going to get up and they're going to challenge. They're big and strong in the air, um, and that's something that we've got to be ready for. Uh, on the offensive side of things, you know, we we, we got to get our rhythm down. we we got to get on the ball in the middle of the park, um, and then we got to get it moving. Uh, we got to play fast, and, uh, you know, we got to be strong on the ball. We can't have careless turnovers in there. Having played Buffalo in your last match, getting to see a little bit out of them, what can you take from that game that you look to improve on and use to your advantage come the game tomorrow? Well, Buffalo's a good team, man. They're very deserving of the third seed and being in the, in the MAC tournament like all four teams here are. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much either team really showed their cards last weekend. Um, I think everybody's going to play with a little bit more sense of urgency because both Buffalo and I, or Western Michigan, know if win and we move on, lose and their season's done. And that's what's nice about the MAC tournament. Um, neither one of us are looking really at an at-large. And so uh, I think the, the level of intensity in the game will be raised. Which players are you looking to step up you know, early on in the game to get your team in the rhythm and kind of give you that you know, hopefully an early lead and that will lead to you know getting through the game to the championship game? Well, I think we're a pretty balanced team. I mean, we don't have just one player that we rely on, but uh, we have 10 seniors you know, that are experienced players who this will be their third time um, back to the MAC tournament, and they played in a MAC championship game. So we're relying on our seniors to be uh, show the leadership and uh, get us through the results tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but specifically, I think you got to look at Nick Weissung um, in the middle of the park. You got to look at Greg Timmer and Connor Ferguson. Those three guys, right through the spine of our team, expect good performances out of those three tomorrow. What's the one thing that your team needs to do well to win this whole tournament? To win the whole tournament, we got to stay engaged for 90 minutes. Uh, Buffalo's a team, when, and, and a player like Cicerone, if, you, if you're not engaged for a minute, he'll find a goal. And if we're fortunate enough to go into MAC Championship, both West, West Virginia and Akron are, are very talented going forward. We play 90 minutes. Uh, we're pretty tough to beat.